Gosh, I don't even really know where to start. I guess that like the first thing is when we first talked about doing the show, you know, immediately I was just thinking, what's gonna identify myself? What's gonna give people the best representation of what I am, what I do? And I kind of feel like, you know, with the painting side, everything has its own kind of feel, kind of, you know, like I don't just do portraits, I don't just do layered stuff, I don't just do weird surreal stuff. I you know I like to try and you know challenge myself and really just see where I can you know go further with what I do. And I, I, I really just kind of went for the obvious robot squid zombie because that's you know it's obvious that it's a reoccurring theme. The biggest challenge for me and the biggest change was that I had to really think hard about being clear and concise with what I was doing because you don't really have the support of other artists. You don't have the support of a group. It's, you're you're kind of just throwing yourself out there. Because like when I talked to Hal, he was like, "Go big," and that's the one thing that stuck with me this whole time. So that's kind of how the squid came about, which was you know tons of fun. And I I wish I could have just done that and just done a bunch of them. You know, I just had the whole show like giant squids through the whole gallery. But when he said "go big," like that's the first thing that popped in my head. I was like, "Why not?" You know. It ties into what I do as a painting, and it challenged me because I've never done something like that. And really, I just honestly wanted to see it. I just, you know, I want to see a ten-foot squid, so why not just do it? With my paintings, it's it's been an evolution. It started actually with the power cells, where I did the first actual little squid drawing, and I've always had tentacles throughout other paintings. Really, it started as the idea of something mysterious, something that is unknown, something that really, um, it, it makes you, you know, it, it usually came off the side of the canvas, so you didn't really know what was going on. And then it developed into literally doing a squid, and then it kind of gained a personality, and then it kind of gained feelings, and became a character. And so, why not just build a character out of it? So, with building that, you have to think of, you know, I, I'm two-dimensional usually, so when I'm thinking I'm going to build a, a sculpture, and I don't really sew, <laughs> so you know, like that's kind of a dumb idea to take on a big project like that. Uh, a little squid we did first, really just to get an idea of how you know how we're going to build it, how it's going to come about, and that, that's when I started getting the idea of it actually coming out of the floor. And also, I kind of like that idea because, like I said, with my paintings where they're coming off of the edge of the canvas, it's almost like doing that with the floor. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. But <laughs> <laughs> the background was really, it's just, it's a family portrait. I was kind of thinking while I did it that I wanted to play off of the idea of you know, the classical family portrait that, you know, somebody gets in their own house of themselves with a big, you know, a huge, like, kind of gaudy over the top and they get really dressed up and they look nice. And they're zombies, but they're kind of, you know, they're kind of cleaned up, they're not all blood and guts. So they're kind of, like, trying to hold on to that vanity where they're, where they're holding on to what they had in life, but at the same time, they're, you know, they realize they're dead. And things are getting better. In general, like you know, it's kind of a it's kind of like a backwards thing because they're dead. You know, things are getting better, but you're dead. Like why why would that connection be made? And so I debated that a lot while while I was painting them and while I was titling because I do kind of at the same time almost that admittance of like well I didn't accomplish what I wanted in my life and things are getting better. If you if you have that attitude where things are getting better at death, then why you why you live your life like that? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Well, I have a quick question. Yeah, uh, sure. I noticed a little, you know, kind of <clears throat> the M1A1 over yeah. there and the bazooka yeah. and uh, the U-boat torpedoes. I see that in the first two. I don't know if that has anything to do with the zombies and this little with the war, war machine yeah. and everything. I just, I just no, 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 absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's definitely, like, I'm trying not to make it obvious, 
you know, I, I like to be very subtle with, with when I'm trying to do some kind of political statement. And they're, they're kind of a statement on society and how we view ourselves and each other and, and war in general and, and the technology behind war, which allows us to have war. You know, and I love George Romero, <clears throat> and a lot of his movies are like that, where he's, he's just really, when you watch it, it's just a zombie movie, but he's really kind of giving that social satire. Uh, I don't think I'm nearly that, you know, not there. That no, level, very but, clever. But you picked up on it, so I guess I'm doing something. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, even the robots. Like to me, the robots. <clears throat> when I, you know, like when I'm doing a robot painting, I always think that robots have a purpose, and I don't always really see their purpose in my paintings. But I think that that's intentional because, you know, I I always think of them as like like decommissioned war robots or something that are trying to figure out what their life is. Like that's what the subdued, subdued affair is really to me. <clears throat> because he's really just an a old robot that's in this really cold environment. And it's almost like he's contemplating what love is and the loss of 